the as planned versus as built delay analysis method. If you want to search for this term as planned versus as built delay analysis method, you will probably get tons of results and they are all different from each other. So first, I want to distinguish between as planned versus as built analysis approach and the analysis method, which is window analysis as per SSCL protocol. As planned versus as built delay analysis method, which is a window analysis method under the SSC delay and draft protocol. This is what we will explain right now. So it's a, it has a procedure and you something you can work with. So the as planned versus as built analytical and observational as well. So for the procedure, you have to investigate the actual critical path at each window because it's a window analysis and compare it with the corresponding planned date. Okay. So, so I have the planned critical path. I have the critical path of the baseline program of work. And while I progress with the project, you know, throughout the project, so I compare the as built information. So what I actually achieved compared to the baseline program as per the baseline schedule. Then you have to the, do practical, an practical analysis of available facts. So for example, if you have as per baseline schedule, if you have a, a, an excavation activity, which is 10 days of duration, this is the uh, critical path, right? The, the excavation was on the critical path. So you observe the as built information, you took 15 days to accomplish. So it's something similar to the time slice window in terms of analysis, because you are analyzing the as built information. You are comparing the as planned versus as built. So, but this only applies for the critical path, you know, only. So you, you have your base is the longest path only of the baseline program. You have 10 activities, for example, then you populate the actual information on the same path, the planned critical path. Then you analyze, you know, the same concept applies from time slice window, the way you analyze delays, evaluate the delays, how you investigate, you know, the responsibilities, how many days owned to by the employer, and the same to the contractor. Advantages, it's easy to understand. I am having one path to deal with. Everyone knows what this path is. Everyone knows which program I'm referring to. So it's easy to understand. There is no confusion. And it doesn't need advanced scheduling skills. Actually, it's almost zero to use Promovera in this case. You know, it's almost manual. You have 10 activity, start and finish, and the duration. You have the actual information, and you are comparing, you know, 10, 10 activities only. So it doesn't need scheduling skills. This advantage is it is not suitable for complex projects where critical paths change. So if you have 10 days, you know, of, for the critical path as per baseline. But the actual situation in very large construction projects, it, you know, for example, it can be concrete works as per baseline on the critical path. But the actual situation is I have the facade work, I have landscape work, I have block work, right? Because things will change over time. So if you want to use this method, you are comparing, you know, the actual information against the planned critical path. But the planned critical path is obsolete. It's a void. It is not, it cannot be used anymore for this type of analysis. But if you want to go for the uses here, you can use it for a linear project, tunnel, pipe installation, bridge, road. Because of the nature of this project, you have maybe few activities, you know, they are all linear, there is some overlap, and they are all repetitive. So in many cases, if you are delayed to comp to achieve, you know, the progress of one activity, it will affect all successors. So in this case, critical paths will unlikely change throughout the project. This is the nature of this type of projects, you know, so we have excavation, compaction, pipes and installation, three activities, for example. If you are delayed, you know, in excavation, you are delayed as well for the subsequent activities. You know, this is the nature of this project. So if you have, so the critical path of the baseline program of work is also the same as the actual critical path, you know. So this is the uses of this. This is the limits actually of and uses of this method is not so popular, but it's very effective. If you want to 
if you agree to use a retrospective analysis method, it is very effective in this type of projects. This advantage it is subjective and intuitive, right? And because I am now allocating the delays, I have five additional delay, five additional days of delay in one activity in the critical path, and maybe I will assign it to the employer, but someone else will maybe assign two days only. It's subjective unless you have very very good project records. Okay, this is for the as planned versus as built.